Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It On. We're gonna swim if south. Let's see what lies in wait. Pool leads nowhere. That one does, though. So all this room is? Oh no, we can go over here. Never mind. Oh! Uh, Phil Yisitat. Yisitat. Phil Yisitat. You know something odd about the dragon? Its blank eyes stare straight ahead, oblivious to your presence. As you approach, the beast speaks, though it does not seem to be speaking to you. On your knees before you enter the presence of a Vazigal! Bow before his ruthless might! Alright, so this is the dragon that you can free, if you so desire, but... I don't resist it. Uh, yeah, but she is a green dragon, a chromatic dragon, so she is evil. These all go somewhere? Or they just go around this room? I definitely do not remember. Alright. So I missed something somewhere, I think. I'm gonna go, before we deal with her, let's check out some of these pools. Yeah, I mean, that would be great if you wanted to. There we go. Also, we're all in, like, armor and stuff. There's no way we'd be able to swim through this. Well, I guess we do have supernatural strength. It's so where we can just go back and forth. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Take a shortcut over there. If I can, it is done. Get inside of this. Come on, people. It would have been faster to walk. Sentinels. In defense of virtue. Oh, it's coming down one at a time. Vengeance. Feel its icy breath. Work away south. As I thought. A dire wolf. Oh wow, okay. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, let's throw one of these over here. I think her spell got interrupted. In defense of the Hardly what I expected. If this continues, I see little point in my remaining with your group. No, Saravok. Hush up. Does she have any healing on her? She does not, but we can fix that real fast with one of these. Gosh darn it. It is done. Should have done that a long time ago, but it, it'll be it'll be fine probably. Fight well, or now you will die. I am Skirt, go in the melee. Did you hear it? Okay. Uh. Hmm. 
Hmm. She has 20 health. I don't know if she'll survive I go long enough to heal herself. I <laughs> Probably not close enough, right? Oh, I am. Perfect. What? Yes. In defense of virtue. I'm not gonna lie, this area is very annoying. My spell has failed. I will require you. I don't know what these vigilants are. My spell has failed. Gosh darn it. Oh wait, what? Oh, I ta Oh, I clicked on her instead of uh, the vigilant. Please. If you wish. That's okay. We have everything we need with the rod of resurrection that we have tucked away somewhere. What do you wish? I want for I want my buddies to come back. Good to go. I will start with this stuff. Re-equip these. I could have managed that fight a lot better. Um, so I have no one else to blame but myself. Go throw that on there. I guess we'll equip that. I need to refill some of those wands. But we'll get around to that. Pretty sure the rest of that is Jahira's. So Jahira, pick up all your stuff. I have too much in my pack as it is. You'll have to pick that up off the ground. My scroll case is going to be in weird spots. I don't use this. I can probably just sell it. So I really don't need. Ah, uh, the plus fours. Saravox stands day. ready. Uh. All right, so that's another way forward. This takes us somewhere. This place has to offer. Fall, creature, and feed the earth. My blade will cut you down. All right. Is the right spell? It is. Oh, that's right. Because she died. Pull leads nowhere. 
That one does, though. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what we're looking for. So these guys... Ekath the Mad. You there, intruder type. Why do you pass their lord at Bazigal's most favored servant? Uh, who are you, and what are these servants of yours? Well, I am Ikath the Enlightened, most favored wizard of Lord Abazigal, ruler of Toril. These lovely creatures are my latest experiment, and most trusted friends. Your closest friends are eyeballs? Note, young man, the lack of mouths or other word spewing orifices on the orbs. You would do well to evolve so finely. Now, what do you want? I seek a scroll of reversal. Do you know of one? An Ontharian delicacy. About ye wide and served with leeks. Um, no. A scroll of reversal. A spell to remove a geas. Well, yes. I suppose I might have one floating about my underwear drawer like a weasel. And twisting them into the most frightful knots. You get the picture. Uh, yes. Can I have the scroll? I don't know how they do things where you, you come from. Here in Abazigal's enclave, we work for our scroll's reversal. <laughs> and what do you want me to do? To be honest, I can't really leave my experiments. They're quite fragile. Plus, they smell nice. Like cheese. I admit I'm no cheese expert, but have you taken a good whiff of your pets recently? I don't know anyone who'd put something with the stench of this place in their mouth. Several days ago, I caught a Galth beholder lurking around my eyes. He seemed to have a bit of a crush on one of them. Regardless, he had lovely eyes. Needless to say, I took a dagger and tried to harvest an eye for my experiments. The little bastard dived into one of the pools just east of here and disappeared. I need that eye stock. Unfortunately, the cavern he dove into has become infested with kobolds. Mighty heroes like Minsk and Donald cannot prove themselves against such unworthy opponents. Maybe Boo should tackle them alone. Minsk is joking, of course. Let the kobold butt kicking begin. Perhaps it was Elder Orbs in that cave. I can't remember which. No matter. Give me the eye stock and you can have the scroll. You want me to fetch this eye stock and retrieve it for you? My standards are a little higher now. Now normally I would gladly accept the quest and go on about my business, but... This should be another conversation option. Well, excuse me. If you're too precious for the job, why don't you subcontract? To whom? These men here. They seem interested in quests and adventure earlier. They appear to be rank amateurs. Yes, I suppose they do. You seem, res uh, you seem resourceful. Find some way to help them, and I'm sure they'll take the quest. Come to my tab when you have the eye stock. One of the other pools should get you in. <clears throat> what? As I thought. Do not presume. So right, earlier so I bought a handful of flesh to s or stone to flesh scrolls that I now need to find. Which are easy to identify because they are green. Whoops. Uh, there's two. And I should have more than that. That's three. I don't know if I need more than three. If you wish. You're rather outlandish oh. folk to be wandering round here. You only need one. Die, cursed eyeball. What? Uh, do I, uh, know you? I freed you from your stone prison, young adventurer. Uh, thanks. Guys, are you okay? Yeah. Yes. No thanks to you. Can't even backstab an eyeball. Shut up, Tim. Uh, greetings, my, uh, lord. I'm Bandari Quickhand, a thief. These are my companions, Nanok the Barbarian and Tim Goldenhand. He's an elf and a mage. 
Truly, Donald, I am amazed. Really, have I seen anyone so obviously in over their foolish heads as this young trio? Uh, I guess I should thank you for saving us. Is there some way we brave adventurers can repay your kindness? Something we can do f for you to fulfill our debt of gratitude? Anything. Anything at all. You can tell me how you come to be, uh, come to be here. I am Pandari Halfman. I left my peaceful village in the Dales, seeking adventure and fortune. I met Tim and Anok in a tavern. We formed a party to explore the Underdark. Well, we found a cave. Then we found some eyes. Then they turned us to stone. Well, I have a job for you, Bandari. And a terrible evil was swept across the land, and the lives of millions hang in the balance, or in balance. You've been chosen, Bandari. You must not fail in your quest. A quest? Wow, this is great. What do we have to do? A Phoenix Beholder and his kobold cohorts have infested a cave to the east of here. The evil dragon threatens the land. I must have the Beholder's eye stock to slay the dragon and save the country from certain doom. By mask's mask, we can't let this happen. Go, noble adventurer, and retrieve the eye stock. The fate of Tethir lies in your hands. What kind of reward do we get? The satisfaction of a job well done. Do not argue. Even now the dragon raises his army to crush the world. Well, we will be saving the world. Alright, we'll do it. Let's go, boys. Wait, I have to rest and memorize magic missile. Worry not, elf. Nanak will protect you. Alright, so you have to send them to get a certain item. If you go yourself, you can't get... Several days later. I'm telling you we can take Donald, Net. Net. Yeah, I'm telling you we can take Donald. Nanak, you're unfettered by the weakness of the civilized world. Tim. You can cast Magic Missile. I will backstab. I bet he has all kinds of tr great treasure. But Tim is terrible. Remember the Kobold King? He cast one spell then hid behind a rock while we had to slay everyone. Hey, I have the healing potions. I heal you. I can shrug off a blow that would fill a normal man. Unfettered by your civilized ways, I... Enough. Or sorry, enough. Ready? Attack! Bandari reloads. <laughs> uh, here's your eye stock, sir. We found something else, too. I hope you like it. You've saved us all, noble hero. Thanks. It was a good quest. I found a dagger, and Tamir got a scroll of identifier. In a couple of days, he'll be able to tell me about my dagger. <laughs> Hi. Thanks again, Donald. Bye. Good luck with the dragon. I bid you a farewell, suitably unfettered by civilization. Oh, what a hoot. Alright, so we got two things. The bronze pantalets! We can uh, go back to M. Catherine and use our golden pantaloons, silver pantaloons, and the bronze pantalets to create a special item. The pinnacle of style and the epitome of fashion. Those of discerning taste would rather wear nothing at all than substitute inferior apparel for the bronze pantalets. Actually, no, we need to put those into the other container. Then a goth eye stock. This is the eye stock of a goth beholder. The stock has been neatly cut through. Alright. So I'm pretty sure... Alright. In defense of virtue! Yep. How did we not get to rest while we were... Okay. Well, fine. That's not right! Feel the backhand of justice! Death! Feel its icy breath! I await your move. Yeah, uh, just forgot to mention, you can't get the bronze pantalets without sending them. If you go yourself, you don't get the uh, bronze pantalets.
Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> let's try that. For the most part, they should just kind of kill themselves on me. No. I no longer have immortal energies yes. to sustain me. I want tire. Ah! Missed. No more. Your item is on the ground. Oh, Mint's got uh, petrified. Let's reload that. If you wish. Don't need to go back in this one. Darn it, Minsk. Can I just send one? Uh, we'll test the next one. Can I just send one? of my party members to the pool to go through it so that they don't get all clustered and stuck. Yes. That would be for the best. Well, let's go ahead and do it this way. Honestly, if I could send him in there by himself, that would be even better. Gosh darn it, he keeps getting... On the ground. Oh, he's only petrified right now, so we're actually fine. He got shattered last time. How may I assist? Oh, hang in there, Minsk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where goes the stench of evil? So goes the cleansing wind All right. of Minsk and Boo. That worked out. I can't carry no more. Your item is on the ground. Wait, why is this? Why'd they force that into my inventory? I guess it's because it's, yeah, I could have important stuff in there. They don't want me to risk leaving it behind. Okay, never mind. You point, I punch. Oh. Hmm. All right. Pretty sure that's all to check out in this place. Let's go back. We'll go talk to what's his face. See about the scroll reversal, which we're not even going to use. So it, it doesn't really matter. Oh gosh darn it! Oh, what do you want? Oh, somebody leveled up at least. As I thought. Yes, simple. Oh, main Sarah is stuck here. Gosh darn it. Well, maybe I can. Well, it's if better you now. Wish. 
All right, I do want to go back to the pocket plane and heal up real fast, and also get some spells back. What? That's gonna bother me. All right. Minsk is missing some health. There we go. Yes. Out with it. It's like he had more health than my main character, and then it, he didn't all of a sudden. She leveled up. Level 9 spell. Sure. If you wish. One. All right, this should take us to the wizard, I believe, or the mage. Huh? Yeah. Crap, yeah. This takes this just takes us back to the uh, the you room itself, right? Your party yes. If they all wanted to show up, that'd be great. Done. Yes, as I thought. Why are y'all not going towards the door? There we go. That was super weird. Yeah, it just takes us back. It's hardly if what I wish. expected. This continues. I see little point in my remaining with your group. We are a poor match. Where does this one take us? I thought the other one said to the east, right? Out with it. Did I go in this one? If you wish. Oh, so that's the one that I came in from. Where? Which one did I not go in? That's where he said to the east. Maybe it's this one. It is done. It's it's not done. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. There we go. A bizarre wizardly experiment litters the table along with detached eyes from all manner of creatures. It is done. As I thought. Simple. Come on. I don't remember which one. There we go. Perfect. This is the, um... Let's put these away real fast. This is the last of the golem pages. Uh, Juggernaut golem page. This, pa this page appears to be torn from a larger work. Although incomplete, it seems to detail the summoning of the mysterious Juggernaut golem. If you wish. You again. What do you want now? Uh, what, is all this, what is all this equipment for? Do I have to spell it out for you? I make eyes. Floating ones. Both deadly and lovely. You work for Abazigal. Do you realize how evil he is? Lord Abazigal is my patron. If he wants to take over the world and slaughter all of his siblings, that's no business of mine. Sure, I'm developing a super army of deadly orbs for him, but it's really not my place to judge the morality of it all. I am merely a student of the arcane of arcane lore. That still doesn't excuse you from being held accountable for your actions. Actually, I think it does that quite nicely. Now, leave me be. Uh, see, so I have the Galth's eye stock. Ah, most excellent. 
Here then. Uh, here then is your scroll of reversal. Now, you must excuse me. I have a new son to raise. And if he is evil... We'll cut him down real fast. Now, Take that eye stock back. Alright, we have the scroll of reversal. Don't plan on using it. Words, not words. But we do have it. I don't know what to give him. Um, he already has longbow points. Well, shoot. Does he have axe? I guess I give him Warhammer because he does have a Warhammer equipped. But he'll never get that second pip into it. Because now he's max level. Alright, perfect. We can go back the way we came. Talk to the dragon. I think that's everything explored, isn't it? Now, I'm not actually going to... Yeah, I already explained that. I'm not going to use the scroll of reversal on the dragon because want? it is an evil dragon. We're going to slay it instead. So let's drop some buffs real fast. And she should be up here. All right. If you wish. So sadly, I don't think we're actually going to get to Abazigal this episode, like I had initially planned. What do you wish? Saravak stands ready. I am yours to command. Do you have anything worth using? I guess you can pop that. Fair enough, my friend. Oh, he noticed. Okay, well, I guess we'll we're fighting. Cut him down. Uh, the cavern echoes the voice of the dragon, though the words seem somewhat forced and unnatural. <laughs> Such impatience to seal your own fate. Very well. I will grant your request. So I believe you also get more experience. For killing the dragon than if you were to uh free it. But as a cavalier and a paladin. And and Nature. I can't just go letting a uh an evil dragon run amok. So we'll cut it down instead. We still get Abazigal's wardstone. As long as the Gaius has been lifted, this wardstone from Abazigal's green guardian dragon uh, should allow you to pass by the protective magics guarding the entrance to Abazigal's personal lair. And we also got a ring of what? The Spectre's Ring. Ring of improved invisibility, the Spectre's Ring. A ruthless assassin of Tethir, known only as the Spectre, used this ring to great effect many years ago. Striking completely unseen, his victims' demises were often attributed to angry ghosts and spirits. Okay, we're probably just gonna sell it. I guess we can hold on to it. It doesn't yes. matter. Alright, well, there we go. I thought a spell magic works on AOE spells. I guess not. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, let's jump back to the pocket plane real fast. Hmm. 
You know what? No, this is a good stopping point. We will confront Abazigal in the next episode. I'm gonna call it here. I forgot how much more stuff there was to do in the episode. I assumed we'd be able to just basically run straight to Abazigal. But, uh... Those darn... I, those little... Shoot, the Sentinels just took so long to burn through. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.